Sketch F of X is equal to X to the power three plus X squared minus four X minus four. Indicating all the inputs. Hence, solve f of x is less or equal to zero and of x is greater than zero. Solution. So for us to sketch this function, we first need to find the intercepts. That's the key thing there. When they say sketch this, your target is what are the intercepts? So what are the intercepts? So to find the intercept, we first find the y-intercept. That's the easiest. The y-intercept is f of zero, which is negative four. So we're saying zero comma negative four. We now go for the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts is the same thing as solving yeah. f of x is equal to zero. So what is f of x is equal to zero in this case? We are saying x3 plus x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to zero. So you factorize the polynomial. Should be an empty thing. Maybe now you can see. Okay. So you start looking for the factors yourself. So you try numbers. Now look at the function, the way the function is, the way the polynomial is. Because of the negatives there on four and four. So opt to go for negative one, f of negative one. So we'll have negative one to the power three plus negative one squared minus four negative one minus four. That is negative one plus one plus four minus four, which is equal to zero. When we get zero, it means that negative one is a factor. And so we use synthetic. So we place negative one and then pick the coefficients one, one, negative four, negative four. Then drop one down. Then you multiply. Here we get negative one. Add we have zero. And then we get zero. Add we have negative four. Then we get positive four. Add we have zero. This means that we can write f of x as uh, the function x plus, because this is minus, we'll write it as plus one multiplied by x squared minus four. Now remember we are solving for f of x is equal to zero for us to find the x intercept. So this is the same thing as uh, x plus one is zero or x squared minus four is zero. So x is equal to negative one or x is equal to plus or minus positive two when you solve x squared minus four. So now we have found the x intercepts, the y intercepts, so you can sketch.
So we have negative one here. We have negative two here. We have positive two here. That means that um, the graph will pass through here, it will pass through here, it will pass through here. Then the y-intercept is negative four. So it's passing through negative four. Well, then we know that because at the moment we don't know the turning points. We can only get the turning points if we use the quadratic, uh, I mean, if we use the, uh, if we use calculus. That's the first derivative. So we'll do calculus after binomial, I think. Yeah, after binomial. So at the moment, we don't know. So, but at least we know the graph must cross here and touch those points, meaning that in this region, the graph can only be here. So that it can touch down. And because the spaces, the space between negative one and zero and zero and two. The one that is big is for zero and two. So we suspect that the turning point will be on the right of the y-axis. So we test, maybe we can use one. So what is f of one? f of one is going to be one plus one minus four minus four, which is minus eight minus six. Minus six is lower than negative six. So our guess is true. It will cut here and turn in this region. It goes up like that. It does, so we don't know the turning points. We were just able to predict which interval will have the turning point between these two. And then using the graph method, part one, f of x is less or equal to zero. We mean this region where the function is below the x-axis, this region here, where the function is below the x-axis, this region. So we get from negative infinity, from negative infinity up to negative two, included union, negative one up to two, both included because it's less or equal to. Then do f of x greater than zero, same graphical method. We mean this region here and this region here. That is, the solution set is going to be from negative two to negative one, not included, union two to positive infinity, like that. That is how we obtain the solutions. If we say use table method, suppose we, just use table method to solve one and two. Uh, this is two. To solve one and two. So we'll say for one, we have factorized f of x to be x plus one, x squared minus four. Meaning we can write it as x plus one, x minus two x plus two. So, we've got an x is negative one, x is two, x is negative two. Then we'll have negative two, negative one, positive two. On the table,
tested this man's soul to see that he is. And then we pick uh, x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 2, and then f of x. Then you pick a number that is less than negative 2, say negative 3. A number in between negative 2 and negative 1, uh, that will be, you add it to negative 1 minus 2, we get negative 3. So that will be negative 3 over 2. You divide the number by 2. To, it, then you find the number that lies in between those two numbers. Then here is zero, here positive three. So we'll substitute negative three in x plus one, we we'll get negative two, we we'll get negative five, we we'll get negative one. When you multiply these three, we'll get a negative number. Then negative three over two, plus one, that will be negative three, plus two over two, which is negative one over two. So we have a negative here, then another negative, then negative three over two plus two. There we have negative three plus four over two, which is one over two. So we get a positive. When you multiply negative times negative times positive, we get positive. If you place zero, we'll have plus, minus, plus giving us minus. Three, we'll have plus, plus, plus giving us plus. So for f of x less or equal to zero, the solution set is where x is negative. It is where f is negative. So from negative infinity up to negative two, because it's included, we include union from negative one included up to two because none of them came from the denominator and then for f of x is greater than zero that is the solution set is going to be from negative two to negative one not including any union Another positive here, that is from two to positive infinity. That is using the table method, we have found one and two. The number line and the table are the same. Because on the number line, I was going to do this and then put negative two here, put negative one here and put positive two here. And then pick a number bigger than two, say three. A number in between, zero. A number less, negative two over three. A number less than negative two, say negative three. And you start substituting, except I will now substitute directly in F. So I'll substitute in the product. And then I'll be getting the, the only the final solutions, minus, positive, minus, positive. And then I pick the solution set from the number line. I guess this is what is confusing on the task that I gave yesterday. So if I'm to repeat what I said yesterday, I said that the results are not that good for the test. So don't relax. Let's work hard. This should be our last time to do this first time.
<laughs> yeah, that's a four. Driving perspective. Driving dangerous protocols. Two. The polynomial. <laughs> Darin, turn to us. Maybe you did a bit well. So yeah, I'm not saying your results. I'm saying that in general, results are very poor. The polynomial is divisible by x minus one and leaves a remainder. Leaves a remainder of 10 when divided by x plus 1. Find p and q. Then hence 1. So uh, factorize px completely. To solve px is equal to zero. Three. So Px is less or equal to zero by table method. So Px is greater than zero by number line. We did wonder if the city would be involved in the game, the same old man who's just recently missed out on indicating the intercept. Solution. Part one. Part one. Uh, before part one, um, find P and Q. So say, okay, suppose we are told X minus one, we are told this PX is divisible by X minus one, meaning X minus one is a factor. So we we'll get X minus one and equate it to zero. So X is equal to one. This implies that P of one is equal to zero. And so three minus two plus P minus Q is equal to zero, implying that P minus Q is equal to negative one. Then X plus one is equal to zero, 
imply that x is equal to negative one. Now we are told when we divide by x plus one, the remainder is 10. This means that P of negative one is equal to the remainder, which is 10. So we have minus three, minus two, minus P, minus Q is equal to 10, which implies that minus P minus Q is equal to um, is equal to 15, is it? Because that would be 10 plus, yeah, so it's equal to 15. Solving the two simultaneous things. Do come out and once again, which is the Finding a few of that gaps with uh, three. So we have P minus Q is negative one, and minus P minus Q is 15. So if we add we we'll get minus two Q is equal to 14, implying that Q is negative seven. So P, you can pick any of those two equations. If you pick the top one, we'll have P minus Q is negative one, uh, implying that P, which is unknown, is equal to negative one plus Q, which is negative seven. This is giving us negative eight. So P is negative eight. We we'll have the function PX written as three X three minus two X squared plus P. What is P? P is minus eight. So we have minus eight X. Q is negative seven, so we have plus seven. Please note that because it is minus Q, when you substitute, you say minus Q is minus seven. That's how it becomes plus seven. So this is a phenomenon that we want to deal with going down. Okay, so we now so we now factorize this completely. So we have px is equal to three x three minus two x squared minus 8x plus 7. The good news is that we are given already that x minus 1 is a factor. So we are sure that in 1, in synthetic, the remainder will be 0. So 3 plus 8 plus 7. Then bring 3 down, multiply, add, we get 1. 1, add, we get negative 7, add, we get 0. When 0 is the remainder, then you know you have factorized. That is the thing. So when you factorize, you have P of X uh, is equal to X minus 1, uh, 3X squared uh, plus X minus 7. This tells that we get which values. In factorizing, we need to factorize this one too. So we have x minus one, and then we can do this factorization somewhere else, plus x minus seven. So the product is negative 21. When you multiply three by negative seven, the sum is one. Which two numbers can behave that way? We need to add negative 21. 
you add, you get one. I can't seem to figure out those. So what I'll do is I'll use the formula. X is equal to negative B, which is negative one, plus or minus the root of one squared, that is one, minus four AC, so it will be plus because C is negative. Then four by three, that is a 12 by seven, that is 14, one, seven, 84. So we have 84. This is x minus minus one plus root 85 over six multiplied by x minus minus one minus root 85 over six like this. So I have now factorized completely. Then part two says solve px. So you say, okay. Ah, part two says solve px is zero. So you just equate the pieces. So you say x is one, uh, x is negative one uh, plus root 85 over six and x is negative one minus root 85 over six. And then part three, that's where now you solve this uh, using table method. So you put these numbers. So you say minus one minus root 85 and then uh, this one should be one in between, and then minus one plus root 85 over six. Is that true? No, I doubt. So it has to be in between. Negative one plus root 85 over six, and then one here. Because root 85 approximately, that is nine. 9 point something. So negative one plus nine, that is eight. Eight over six. Ah, eight over six is one point something. Okay, correct. So it will be the other way. So you put one here. Is it PX? <laughs> and then negative one plus root 85 over six. So then now we do this test. So here at least we know zero is zero lies here. Now here we have to be careful. Uh, I think one point. Uh, which number lies here? Uh, we can put anything, even like the closest, because approximately eight over six. That is one point. When you take in two eight, you then with two, so that is one point three. So we can use one point one. We're sure it's in between. And then a bigger number can be 10, can be negative 10. Can it be? Oh, this one has over six. Okay, so it can be negative 10. And then you have X minus one. And then you have uh, the other two pieces. So in such cases, again, if it's too confusing, then we can use the actual P. We can use px. When we take negative 10 in this one, we we'll have negative 11 multiplied by 3 by 100, and then minus 10 minus 7. So you notice that the inside will be positive, and then we multiply by a negative outside. So that will be negative. So if we get negative, then here we'll have a positive, then we'll have a minus, then we'll have a positive. Because this is a polynomial. That is in most cases. So now what we'll do is we'll test also at zero. So when you put zero, we'll get a P of zero to be negative one uh, by negative seven. For sure, it's positive. You can also try P of 10. P of 10, that is P of 10, that is nine and then 100 uh, by three, 
plus 10 minus 7, that is positive as well. So that so this is okay. So it means now we are able to get um, the solution set wanted was px less or equal to zero. That is a solution set is from negative infinity to negative one minus root 85 over six included union one included comma negative one plus root 85 over six included. Then for px, for px greater than zero, we pick the plus. So the solution set is going to be negative one minus root 85 over six, not included, comma one, not included, union. Uh, 100 is when you square 10, union, negative one plus root 85 uh, over six comma infinity. That's for the plus. Uh, what else? Sketch. Oh, so this is what is going to be a bit tricky now. The sketch, I think you can put the sketch here. So the sketch has everything already. So it has, uh, so it will be time out and time. So the sketch is starting at one and then it's touching at uh, negative one plus 85 over six and negative one minus 85 over six. And then the y-intercept is seven, so it's up. So meaning that it's crossing, going up, and to come down, hit here, and then go up. This is how the sketch will be. Okay, so when it cuts, I think we'll go a bit, we'll get back at, um, 18 uh, 50, 